play mode, I don't need no drama Everybody know I ain't about that drama, oh yeah I'll go out of study First I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Primer mixed with a Vino Daily Moisturizer Then I'm gonna be filling in my brows with the LA Girl Brown Pencil and I'm just gonna use my spoolie to actually fill in the hairs, make it look like a more faded out look. Then I'll be going in with my LA Girl Concealer and Fawn, and I'm just gonna clean up my brows as well as I'm gonna use that as my eye base. Then I'm going to be going in with my Morphe 12NB palette. I'm going to use the darkest brown for my crease. And I'll be using the orange in the Morphe 12NB palette as my transition color. Now I'm going to be going in with the Galaxy Chic palette that you see me holding currently. And I'm going to be using Mercury as my highlight. Then I'm going to be going in with the Star Crush Minerals in Gold Spice. And I did use a glitter adhesive. It's my secret little weapon. And I'm just going to define my crease after I do apply my glitter. Then in the inner corner, I'm going to be using Smolder Cosmetics in Gold Digger, and I'm just going to use that as a highlight in the corner. Then I'll be using one of my favorite liquid liners. It's Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Very Black. And now that I have my liner applied, I'm going to use that as a guideline to add my black in. You can use any black. I just grab the random black eyeshadow and I'm going to put that in the crease to add more depth. Then I'll be going in with the same LA Girl pencil that I use for my brows and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then you will see me smudging it out just with an eyeshadow brush. Then as a transition color for my waterline, I'm going to be using that Morphe 12NB brown that I use for my... Then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Butterfly Effect Mascara. I'm going to add two coats. Then I'm going to be going in with Cream Lashes in number 747. I'm just going to apply those. Then as a highlight for my brow, I'm going to be going in with the Galaxy Chic Palette and use Mercury as my brow highlight. Then I'm going to be using my Sephora foundation. It's going to be in Fonse 55 and Fonse 57. And I'm just going to blend that all into my skin. Only one layer of foundation. I'm going to be using my concealer from LA Girl in Fawn. And I'm going to put that under my eyes down the bridge of my nose, top of my lips, chin, and forehead. Then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and slowly start to blend that out.
Now as my setting powder for the concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Treats setting powder palette and it's going to be a light brown that I'm using to set it for. It does not have a name, but I just know it's by Beauty Treats. Then I'm going to go in with the City Colors Contour Palette and I'm going to start contouring my cheeks and forehead. I'm going to slowly blend that in. Then as a highlight, I'm going to go in with the color Mercury. And I'm just going to add that on the bridge of my nose, forehead, and top of my lip as well. And I'm going in with my Beauty Treats Blush Palette. So I'm going to use the darkest red and I'm going to mix it in with a light purple and I'm just going to use that on the apples of my cheeks. Now as my lip color, I'm going in with the new Milani Liquid Metallic Lipstick and it's in the color Making Me Matte and I'm just going to apply that with no liner. An airplane mode, I don't need no drama Yeah, everybody know I ain't about that drama, oh yeah I'll go 